Hello there, I am Bernie the Bear as a little bear cub I discovered that I was naturally gifted at playing baseball. Good at it, yes that's right and it was really fun. As a little bear you would find me playing bear ball with the other little bears. As I grew up I found myself living every young ball player's dream of becoming a pro ball player, but the fun had started to disappear. Yep the more the success the less fun I was having while playing the game. The fun was disappearing because of the things I was doing, and they were not all related to playing baseball. I had money, fame, and mostly I had a whole lot of bad habits. But let's call it what it is, ball player without hope. I was lost doing whatever I wanted to do not only hurting myself but all those around me. Leading others down that dark path with me, sex, drugs, rock and roll. It was a lifestyle straight from hell doing whatever I wanted, caring nothing about consequences to me or others. Well if you have any kind of sense you probably realize that with that living that lifestyle I was headed for a big fall. Mama bear nor papa bear would be able to help, they had passed on and I had already blown every dime that they left me. My career lost, my family lost, and I was still out of control the drugs had me and nothing else mattered. The years of drugs had taken me so low I had no one, nothing at all and my only desire was drugs. Drugs were my world and how to get them was my life, there was nothing that I would not do to get them, nothing. That's right nothing to evil. After all the years of darkness, I found myself sitting in a church, didn't really know why I was there. Sitting there stone out of my mind, could not tell what was being said or who was saying it, yet I thought I heard someone say I am here for you, just ask. I was so out of it I thought I was having a drug episode voice shakes and all that. I have heard voices before many times. This was different somehow but through the fog I could not tell how. What a sight this must have been for anyone who was watching this bear high as a kite hardly able to stand moaning, groaning, and looking around trying to see who was talking to him. That night I left there all shook up, scared but not change. Yes, I could not explain why but I needed to go to church again, this time I was in better shape, not stoned. I did not hear that voice, but was able to hear the message that day it was unforgiveness. It was about a man who had died for all. He died while carrying the burden of all of our sins. Forgave all. No, I said not me after all I had done. That's when I heard it, that voice say yes you, and I am here for you just ask. That's it, I'm thinking this is not funny at all, my life is out of control and I am hearing this voice. Just then I felt a little nudge, the lady next to me says are you alright. The service has been over for quite a while, and everyone is leaving now, are you okay? I said I think so, but I keep hearing a voice say I'm here for you just ask, and there is no one there. Now she is smiling at me, and I'm not sure that I like this, she probably thinking this guy is not right in the head, but before I could say a word, she says you know maybe God is trying to tell you something, like he is there for you just ask. I'm sitting there with my mouth wide open and nothing is coming out. She then said to me that she and some others are going to a little place around the corner for coffee and fellowship and would I like to join them. At this I thinking to myself what could happen? Someone spills their coffee can't see that as much of a problem, so I say yes and go. Well now if you have ever spent time in fellowship with spirit-filled people, you know I heard a lot about being saved. They also told me about a church group that meets and is made up of those who had or are trying to overcome addiction problems. They asked me to come to the next meeting. I told them I wasn't sure if I would be free that night, but maybe. On the night of the meeting having no intention of going when the phone rings and a voice says we'll be right over to take you with us to the meeting, be ready. It happened so quick I didn't have a chance to say no. A knock on the door. There she stands at the door saying can't come in, no time let's go. Now I was very uncomfortable but could not figure out how to get out of going. We walk into the meeting everyone is smiling at me it was kind of freaky. These people were talking all about that wonderful thing they had found. They testified of love, of forgiveness, of joy, and in every testimony the name of Jesus was praised. 
there was talk of his glory and mercy, I was starting to tear up not knowing why and could not stop. Then it happened one of them says he is always there for you just ask. Then adding let anyone who want to know him, ask, we will now pray the sinner's prayer. I now found myself on my knees and crying out to him. Lord Jesus I know I am a sinner and have displeased you in many ways. I believe you died for my sins and only through faith in your death and resurrection can I be forgiven. I want to turn from my sin and ask you to come into my life as my Savior and Lord. From this day on, I follow you by living a life that pleases you. Thank you, Lord Jesus for saving me. Amen. Now I rise to stand and find that I am a little weak in the knees as I wipe the last tears from eyes, and now I cannot help but remembering the happy feeling I used to get as young bear playing ball, this felt a lot like that feeling, but better. Is this the joy one gets with Jesus' mercy? Oh joy! Thank you again Jesus! Now every day when I wake and give thanks for his mercy and the joy I feel. No longer a ball player but rising up every day as a soldier in the army of Jesus Christ, thanks be to God.